Welcome to your practice. Thank you for choosing me. It is an honor to get to guide you. If you are going to use a playlist or any other uh, simultaneous form of entertainment, go ahead and hit it on three, two, one, play. And then take your time to make your way onto your mat, feeling free to venture over to the light switch if you need to adjust that, to experiment with the volume or the angle of your mat, anything at all that you desire to help you feel more welcome and more content in your practice. And as you do, make your way onto your mat into a seated position. Of course, anything is welcome. Knees bent, tucked beneath you in Virasana, extended out in front of you, Pashimottanasana style. But if you're comfortable to sit cross-legged, Please consider joining me in either Sukhasana, easy pose with the shins crossed, the hips not too open, or a little deeper if you're ready to move into Siddhasana, which allows the hips to open a little bit wider from the get-go. From the get-go, I invite you to find comfort. Whatever that means to you, if that means adjusting where you've landed or the way that you usually sit. For me, that often means leaning forward and then sitting back onto a more stable, even base or the weight more evenly distributed across the sit bones. Might feel good to place your palms down on your knees, allowing the fingers to wrap around the edges. The thumb and forefinger can unite in jhana mudra for grounding if you're feeling that need, if that would add to your comfort in this moment. And then consider a few rolls of the head. Starting to get that stretch in the neck that most of us need desperately during these times of computer work, texting, driving, looking down at our toddlers. And if you are rolling the head, Pay close attention to what is going on there in the neck through the cervical vertebrae that make up that part of the spine. And then the tiny muscles surrounding it, the stabilizers, where we usually feel tension. You might just really begin to notice a stretch in the left side of the neck as the right ear drops toward the right shoulder. And you might stay there for an extra moment, an extra round of breath, maybe even rolling the head slightly front to back. All the way from that left ear down the side of the neck to the shoulder. You can feel that subtle release or a tightness indicating something's going on there. And then if you've kept that right ear toward the right shoulder, let your chin just dip across the front of the chest to the other side, taking the left ear toward the left shoulder. Now notice what's going on in your hands. Are you pressing more firmly into one or the other, indicating that one side of the body might need a little more support than the other? Nothing wrong with either way, either side, just notice. And then you might let yourself take that subtle sway just to see if anything comes to your attention. 
Not that any issues or obstacles need to be solved or removed, just to notice. Can you notice your shoulders melting a little further away from your ears, a conscious release of tension? If it would feel good, you can let your head roll all the way around the back to stay for a breath or so, only if it doesn't make you feel lightheaded. There's a pretty major artery back there that gets slightly compressed in some people when the neck is craned in either direction. To others, it feels really good. Maybe your eyes drop closed. As the awareness starts to lower from the neck, whether the head continues to roll or not, you're welcome to take bigger, deeper rolls, soupy rolls, or find your way to stillness, pending what you need, what brings you comfort with each next round of breath. But I invite you to really start to notice how you feel physically within the body not how you think you feel dictated by the mind. Because it's that actual physical sensation that alerts the brain to create that custom cocktail of chemistry to develop emotions, to create a narrative according to predictions based on our past. In the science of yoga, this practice we keep coming back to, helps us to cleanse, to modify the memories so that we're able to see the true reality of what's going on right now. And within this next moment, the very next right now, feel the breath fill you completely. Can you allow the skin on the belly and then the chest to expand? Can you sit up a little bit taller than just the moment before? Now, would it feel better to exhale through the nose or the mouth? You decide. But either way, feel everything soften now from the jaw, past the neck that we've started to melt down the spine, to the earth upon which you sit. As the next nourishing inhale rises up through you, perhaps you can tune in a little deeper. Just asking yourself in the wake of the new moon, if you've got an intention to set, according to how you feel or how you'd like to feel. And with the exhale, just notice that intention drawn deep into your very core as the body snuggles in around it. Whether you've set an intention or not, I invite you to create an affirmation. If you set an intention, just change the language to begin with I am. If you're intention free, how do you wish to be? Maybe I am playful or I am light. I am present. I am powerful. With the exhale, Feel that affirmation resonate within. One more breath in here to yourself, within your body, within your mind. Repeat your affirmation, I am what? And with the exhale again, hear it echo all the way through you, out into the space around you. Live your palms skyward. Envision that affirmation sitting in each hand. As you inhale, lift it up overhead. 
the palms unite in the sky. And with the exhale, you draw handfuls of that affirmation down to the brow, setting it into the mind. As you inhale, pull it down further to the heart, fusing it into those neurons. With the exhale, send the arms out to the side. Spread the palms wide open, fingers apart. Flip the palms up. And with the inhale again, reach up, maybe a little higher than the last time. The earth presses into you just as much as you ground into it, allowing the fingers to reach up higher, the rib cage to grow longer. With your exhale, draw the hands down to the head. Inhale to the heart. Exhale, again the arms press away, out like wings parallel with your mat, flip the palms up, and with the inhale reach up, affirming your intention in your mind. The exhale, draw it down to the head, inhale to the heart. Alright, with this exhale, let's twist. Spin to the right, left hand to right knee, right fingers behind you, gentle, gentle leverage to take you as deep as you need in this moment into your twist. Follow the inhalation all the way up the spinal column, expanding as it elevates that affirmation all the way up through you to the sky. With the exhale, the affirmation washes down over you. The twist symbolically rings out any obstacles, blocking its way. One more breath in. A little lift through the crown. Chin slightly low. The neck stays long. As you exhale, you might twist a little deeper only if you need it. As you inhale, we're going to slowly Turn the gaze forward simultaneously. Swing the right arm out to the right. Send it out in front of the body to the left. With the exhale, the left elbow scoops it up, squeezes in only as much as you need to get what you want in that right shoulder. The inhale, the right arm presses into the left. Open up some space. And with the exhale, squeeze back. One more breath in. With the exhale, let's twist to the left. So the right hand just drops down to the knee as the left fingers meet the mat behind you. The inhale flows upward, expands outward. Affirmation in heart. The exhale, you can deepen your twist if you want to, if you need to. One more full round of breath in, affirming. Out, affirming. In an inhalation, we're turning forward the gaze in the left arm, swing across the front of you. With the exhale, the right elbow scoops up the left. And with the inhale, you open up some space for the breath. Exhale, a squeeze if you need it. Inhale, allow softness, some space. With the exhale, release hands to the earth in front of you. Crawl the fingertips forward. Let your chin dip toward your chest. When you get as long only as you comfortably can right now, press into the palms so that the inhale seems to flow from the fingertips of the arms over the rounded spine, the sit bones root. And with the exhale, you might sink a little lower. Breathing in, tiny lift up onto the fingertips. Breathing out, crawl the hands all the way over to the right. Probably off the edge of your mat, so you're hovering above the right knee. And with your inhale, another little lift of the fingertips. So you can negotiate some space for the right side of the rib cage to move over the thigh a little further if you need it. And with the exhale, 
You can cross the left hand over the right if you want a bigger lateral stretch through that left side. Very next inhale, crawl yourself back through the center, timing it so that you're all the way to the front as the lungs fully inflate. With the exhale, you cruise over to the left. And you might send the right hip slightly to the right. With the inhale, it'll press into the fingertips, allows you to lift enough to slide the left side of the rib cage further over the thigh. With the exhale, the right hand might cross over the left. Inhale, crawl your way back through the center. Exhale, let the chin fall toward the chest. The spine probably rounds, belly gets more concave. And with the inhale, you walk the hands about halfway in toward the body. As you exhale, start to roll over the knees, making your way into tabletop position. Now soften the gaze so that the drishti is barely through the lashes down the tip of the nose, or you can close your eyes as you wiggle and sway your way into this pose that you know so well. Maybe you allow it to feel a little different this time, seeing the reality of it. Viewing it through this specific affirmation or intention, or even just this moment. One more full round of breath, that affirmation pumping out with each beat of the heart. With your next inhalation, pause. The palms and the knees through the tops of the feet press the earth away. Feel yourself get a little taller. As you exhale, child's pose. So active it feels like the knees could rise off the mat. Very next inhale, lift up through cat pose. The shoulders stuck above the fingertips and then you dip into cow just as the lungs fully inflate. With the exhale, you're drawn back almost into child's, instead up into cat, chin to chest as you move forward. Dip into cow pose. A full exhale to draw back and round up into cat. Again, the inhale shifts you forward, dips you down into cow. The exhale as you glide back into cat. Let's take three more rounds of rolling cat cows, beautifully articulating the whole spine. Unless, of course, you'd rather take some traditional variations. Equally fabulous. Feel free to add circles of the head or the tailbone. Anything that helps you find what you need, whether that's loosening the neck, rolling with the breath, or personifying, embodying that affirmation that you've set to each inhale, each exhale. Now you might flip onto the tops of the hands if the wrists need a release. Or you might lift onto the fingertips if that makes you feel the way that you wish. Whatever is going on, one more full cycle of breath in and out. With an inhale, let's all send the right arm out to the right. As you exhale, thread it beneath the left, laying all the way down onto the right shoulder, the right side of the head. Stay, or with your inhale, you can slide the left hand forward or reach it up to the sky. If you're binding, take that left hand behind the back to the right side on your exhale. Here you can stay. Or with your inhale, you can tuck the left toes under and lift the knee. If you've lifted it with the exhale, gently lower it right back down. If you're bound on the inhale, peel the left fingers up to the sky 
everyone press into the right arm. With the exhale, left hand meets the mat in front of the face. Inhale, we'll slowly rise up through tabletop, sweeping the right arm back up to the sky. Step the right foot back behind you for a supported side plank. As you exhale, slowly lower into tabletop position. With your inhale, let's just dip into one traditional cow pose. And with the exhale, curl into cat. Notice where the weight is in the palms. Is it in the heels of the hands? That first knuckle or the fingertips? Can you even it out? With the inhale, even through the spine, lift the left arm to the left. The exhale, that gentle, conscious lacing of the left arm beneath the right, allows you to gently set the left side of the head on the earth. With an inhale, the right hand slides forward or reaches skyward if you want to move. And with the exhale, you might find if you're going for it. On the inhale, you've got the option to tuck the right toes under so you can lift the knee, press through the heel, release the hamstring. And if it's lifted with the exhale, lower it. Inhaling, if you're bound, release right arm to the sky, spread the fingers wide. With the exhale, press right hand down to the earth in front of the face. And inhale, and we'll all rise up through tabletop, left arm high, left foot back for your supported side plank. And with the exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, tuck your toes. With your exhale, press back into child's. Again, just this one breath out. And inhale to slowly rise into tabletop as you do bring the knees to hover off the mat. And with your exhale, glide into downward facing dog. The hips lift, the head goes heavy. And here we'll pause in perfect stillness for an inhale that sends that affirmation resonating from your center to your edges. And an exhale that presses it out into the space surrounding you. As you inhale, rise up onto your toes. Exhaling, drop the heels over to the right. With your inhale, shift into down dog, lift the right leg any amount from toes hovering off the earth to way up in the sky. And with that exhale, draw the knee toward the nose into turbo plank, shoulders stack above wrists, spine rounds. Inhale to down dog, just step the right foot down beside the left. With the exhale, option to take the right hand back to catch the left ankle, a little twist. Pause for an inhale. If you're twisted, you might bend the left knee so the thigh draws in toward the belly. Exhale, and maybe you gaze up beneath the left shoulder. Inhale, downward facing dog, rise up onto your toes. With the exhale, heels drop to the left. Inhale for down dog, left leg rises, toes spread. And with the exhale, knee to nose, hips pretty high. Inhale, downward facing dog, both feet to the mat. Exhale, and the left hand can reach back for the right ankle. Right knee can bend, breathe in and out. With an inhale, down dog, rise up onto your toes. With the exhale, a bend in the knees. As shallow or as deep as you'd like. Inhale, lift up onto the toes, knees straighten. If you'd like, take a roll out into plank pose. And if you've planked with the exhale, down dog. Inhale, up onto your toes. With this exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. I suggest tiptoeing, really exaggerated, getting the head of the thigh bone rolling through the hip socket. 
As the toes meet the hands, ground into the balls of the feet, then the heels. With an inhale, a little lift, about halfway up. With the exhale, fold. Both hands clasp the left ankle, squeeze the body in. And with the inhale, peel the left elbow up or the whole arm can straighten if you've got that kind of mobility all right. As you exhale, we'll fold. Let the left hand roll across the earth, both hands to the right ankle. And with the inhale, either the right elbow or hand reaches up to the sky. With the exhale, fold. Let the arms go super heavy. Let the knees bend a bit. One deep breath. Maybe a sway from the right foot to the left and back again. With the exhale, just pause. The knees might bend a little more. Can you feel the subtle weight of the arms hanging from the shoulder girdles? The tension releases from the neck. With an inhale, slowly roll up to stand. As if the breath rising was causing your ascent, it's gentle, it's loving, you're full of that affirmation. You are the way you wish to be. With the exhale, roll the shoulders back. Pause in Tadasana. And in stillness, feel the inhale fill you. From the ground, up the legs, through the trunk, at the crown. The exhale rolls back down again. With your next inhale, reach up. Right hand clasps left wrist and lifts it a little higher. With the exhale, Hinge over to the right. The hips can press left if they want to. As you inhale, straighten up. Switch hands. Now the left grips the right. First lift it up higher. Feel the length through the rib cage. As you exhale, hinge. Even now, your affirmation in mind, in heart. As you inhale, rise. Slide the left hand to meet right. And with the exhale, let the elbows bend. Let the chin fall toward the chest so your prayer is at the back of the heart. With the inhale, you can press the back of the head into the forearms if you need a little more release in the tricep. With the exhale, flip your prayer around to the front. Breathe in. Breathe out, send the arms out to the sides, parallel with the mat. Flip your palms toward the sky, full of affirmation. Inhale, reach up. With the exhale, fold down. This time, drawing the palms all the way to the shins. With an inhalation, press into the shins, bringing the spine to parallel with the earth. Exhaling, we'll drop the fingertips to the mat. Step the left foot back, keep the toes tucked as you lower the knee. With an inhalation, we're gonna take a big circle of the right arm so it sweeps forward toward the sky. As your exhalation begins, it circles back down. Again, as you inhale, full circle with the right arm, this time lift the left knee so you're in a higher lunge. Keep it moving. And with your inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. This time, stop. As you exhale, drop the right hand back to cradle the head so the neck is supported. With the exhale, you might lean into the left hand. You might send the head further back into the palm. One more breath in, just finding what you need. For me, that's length through the right side of the body. With the exhale, gracefully make your way into plank pose. Right hand to the mat, right toes step back. As you inhale, 
Shift to the tips of the toes. Exhaling, lower your knees, chest and chin to the mat. With an inhale, slide into a little baby cobra pose. You can lift your hands if you'd like. With an exhale, lower the palms, the heart and the head. Slide your legs a little further back on the mat. As you inhale, peel up into a second cobra, maybe a little bit higher than the first. Spread your toes so the top of each one hits the floor. With an exhale, melt down to earth. A little pull on the hands to lengthen the whole front of you. And again, with your inhale, peel yourself up, palms flat, or you can lift onto your fingertips if that would feel lightning. With the exhale, lower down to earth. If you've risen onto the fingertips, flatten the palms. Inhale, tabletop, toes tuck. Exhale into child's pose, firm pressure into the palms, length through the arms and spine. Inhale and we lift into your hovering tabletop, knees off the earth. Exhale into down dog, hips up, head heavy. Stay for a breath or take a roll in and out of plank. And with your inhale, we'll all lift up onto our toes. Exhale and the heels drop over to the right. Knees can bend if it feels good to scrunch way in. And inhale brings you through down dog center. Right leg rises. With the exhale, bend the right knee to open the hip. If you want a deeper arch, take the gaze over the left shoulder. One breath, one circle of the right ankle. With the exhale, draw that bent right knee toward the right elbow in a modified plank. Inhale, back up to your three-legged dog. Let the head go heavy, the neck long. And with the exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. Again, let the right knee melt to the earth. But with this inhalation, reach both arms up. Interlace all but the index fingers. Now, if there's anything going on in the lower back, sit up in your lunge to straighten it. Otherwise, you're welcome to let the hips sink low to get into that left hip flexor. As you inhale, you might lift a little further up out of the rib cage, maybe even turning it into a slight arch. Then with your exhale, lower the hands to the mat. We're going to lift up into pyramid pose. You can flex the right toes if you want to. Inhale, and we'll re-bend the right knee, flatten the back heel to the earth. With the exhale, we're cartwheeling up to warrior two, hips and shoulders point left. With an inhale, allow a little lift, a little softness, a little exploration. As you exhale, set the gaze, the drishti, out over the front hand. With an inhale, we're going to straighten the right knee. Reach both arms up to the sky. Tap the palms together. And with the exhale, sink back into warrior two, palms facing up. Inhale for reverse warrior. Left hand lightly to the back of the left leg. With the exhale, we're cartwheeling the hands down to surround the right foot. As you inhale, lift the left leg. Any amount from hovering off the earth to parallel and warrior three. Higher if you're ready for a standing split. With your exhale, lower left foot down beside right. Inhale, hands to shin, spine lengthens. With the exhale, fold. You can let the arms go heavy or you can wrap them around the legs for a hug. With your inhale, roll up to stand, zombie style. As you exhale, circle your shoulders back. Pause in Tadasana for that one breath in. Bring your affirmation back. 
Send it to the outermost edges of you. With the exhale, just let go. On your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Interlace the hands, flip the palms up. And with the exhale, send them over to the left as the hips press right. Inhale. And we'll straighten up, weight evens out through the feet, press through the thumbs. And with the exhale, other way. Inhale, rise up, flip the palms together. With the exhale, draw the hands down to the heart. One breath in samastahi. Notice how firmly pressing the palms together allows you to get a little taller. With the exhale, send the arms out to the sides. Flip the palms up. With the inhale, reach up. With the exhale, fold down. This time, extend the arms back alongside the hips. And with the inhale, lift body parallel with the earth, a little spine strengthening. As you exhale, lower the fingertips. Step the right foot back. With the toes tucked, let the knee dip to the earth. With an inhale, left arm circles. One full time straight through your exhalation. Another inhale, another circle. Lift the right knee. The exhale, the fingers brush against the earth. Inhale, and once more, that left arm circles skyward, pauses. The exhale, drop the left hand back to cradle the head. One inhalation here. What do you need? Exhale into plank pose. Inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. With the exhale, lower the knees. Chest and chin to the earth for Ashtangasana. Inhale, cobra. Bhujangasana. Exhale to the mat. Keep the palms as they are for another cobra or extend the arms back beside you for a locust. And with the inhale, cobra or half locust, lifting arms, heart, and head. The exhale, melt down to earth. Take a third cobra or a full locust if you'd like, lifting on your inhale. If you're coming into the full locus, add the legs. The exhale, lower. Palms alongside the chest if they've moved. Inhale for tabletop, toes tuck. Exhale into child's balasana. Feel the lower back open up nicely. Keep that spaciousness as the inhale brings you to tabletop, knees hover. Exhale into down dog, head goes heavy. Stay, or with your inhale, rise onto your toes and roll out into plank. Exhale, and we'll reunite in down dog. Inhale, up onto your toes. The exhale, heels to the left. Knees can bend if you'd like. One smooth inhale to down dog, left leg rises, toes spread. With the exhale, knee bends, hip opens. Gaze right if you need more. Inhale, in one circle of the left ankle. Exhale into your modified plank, knee toward the left elbow. Inhale, back to your three-legged dog. Give your head a little wobble. With the exhale, step the left foot forward. Lower the right knee to the mat. On your inhale, reach both arms up, interlace all but the index fingers high or dip low as you exhale. One inhalation, maybe a little movement or maybe just that affirmation. With the exhale, lower hands to the earth. Right knee lifts, left knee straightens for your pyramid pose. Inhale. And the left knee rebends, the right heel meets the mat. Exhale into warrior two. 
With an inhale, allow yourself that slight lift. You can adjust your stance, so just feel where you are. The exhale, set the drishti ahead. That last bit to nail the pose. Come out of it with your inhale, straightening up, reaching up. With the exhale, sink back in, palms facing up. Inhale for reverse warrior, left hand sweeps through the sky. With the exhale, the hands cartwheel down to surround the left foot. Spin onto the right toes to square the hips. Inhale and the right leg lifts to your version of warrior three or standing split. With the exhale, lower, right foot down beside left. Inhaling, lift the heart about halfway up, send the arms back alongside you. With the exhale, fold, feel free to hug the legs. With your inhale, roll up to stand. Exhale, and the shoulders circle back. Hands interlace at the sacrum. Stay. Or with your inhale, sink the hips into a chair pose variation. Where you can stay. Or with the exhale, fold down over the legs, which can straighten a bit. Clasp can rise off the lower back. You can stay here. Or you can move with me on the inhale, coming back into that modified chair. On the exhale, bowing down over the legs. One more time, if you're moving, inhale to your chair, heart lift. Exhale, and it lowers down over the left. Inhale, and we come through chair, we release, we reach up into Urdhva Hastasana, everyone. Interlace all the fingers. With the exhale, drop the hands back to cradle the head. Big breath in. With the exhale, hinge to the right as the hips press left. Inhale, and we straighten up. Hands help lift the head a little higher. Exhale, and we take that hinge to the left. Inhale, straighten up. Reach up. And with the exhalation, fold down. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. If you've got some ab work left in you, extend the arms forward. The exhale, lower the fingertips. Step the left foot back, let the left knee lower. Same thing as you inhale, circle the right arm once. Exhale. Inhale for your second circle, the left knee lifts. Exhale. Inhale, and the right arm reaches up, and we pause. The exhale, hand cradles the head. One breath in, maybe you open the heart a little wider. The exhale, plank pose. Inhaling, shift to the tips of the toes. The exhale, lower the knees. Bend the elbows no more than 90 degrees for a half chaturanga. And with the inhale, Cobra pose. Exhale, and we lower down to earth. Stay, or you can reach the arms back. Maybe even interlace the hands. Inhale, and you lift to cobra or locust. Exhale, and we'll lower. Same thing, or you can bend the knees and clasp the ankles for a bow pose. With the inhale, lift up for one final heart opening posture. And with the exhale, lower down. Hands alongside the chest. Inhale, tabletop, toes tuck. Exhale into child's, feel the length through the whole back of the body. Inhale to tabletop, knees rise. Exhale into down dog, hips lift. Inhale, straight up onto your toes. The exhale, drop the heels to the right. Got the option to bend the knees. 
another option to lift the left arm. If you do, unite the thumb and forefinger. Inhale for down dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, hip opens, stay, or lift the right hand to hover or flip all the way over. For one inhale, one affirmation. With the exhale, if you flipped, come back through down dog. Bent right knee sweeps beneath you toward left elbow for a twisted plank. Inhale to your three-legged dog, right toes high. Exhale and we step the right foot forward, keep the knee lifted. As you inhale, reach both arms up, interlace all but the index fingers. With the exhale, maybe sink a little lower. Or the opposite, you can lift a little higher. One more inhale. Mm, with the exhale, straight to warrior two. One big breath in, maybe a softness. A slow breath out, gaze ahead. Inhale to straighten up, reach up. Exhale to sink back into warrior two. If you'd like, pop the right heel up off the mat. Inhale for reverse warrior. And exhale, hands around the right foot. Heel flattens if it's lifted. Inhale, left leg rises. Could be higher than last time, doesn't have to be. With the exhale, lower left foot down beside right. Inhale, and the spine lengthens, arms reach ahead if you want it. The exhale, fold, hug the legs if you'd like. Inhale, to roll up to stand. Exhale, shoulders circle back, affirmation washes through the girdles, down the trunk, beyond the legs, into the roots. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, and we'll reach up. Interlace all but the index fingers. As you exhale, point them to the left as the hips press right. The upper arms squeeze the head into place. With the inhale, you straighten way up. The exhale, point up higher and then over to the right. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. This time, arms just heavy, our fingers to the earth. With the inhale, spine lengthens, Ida Uttanasana. The exhale, step the right foot back, gently lower the knee to the mat. As you inhale, the left arm circles. You can lean into the right hand. The exhale, fingers graze the mat. As you circle again with your inhale, right knee lifts. Keep it moving through your exhalation. Inhale, left arm high, pause. The exhale, hand catches the head. One inhale, maybe the gaze lifts up high. And with the exhale, make your way into plank pose. Inhale, tips of the toes. Exhale, a half or a full Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to Cobra Locus Bow or Upward Facing Dog. And with the exhale, make your way straight into Down Dog as you wish. Feel free to come through Tabletop or Child's Pose. In Down Dog, together we'll lift up onto your toes. The exhale, drop heels to the left. You can bend the knees or lift the right arm. Inhale is down dog, left leg to the sky, only as high as you need to embody your affirmation. The exhale, knee bends, stay, hover, or flip. Breathe in. The exhale carries you into your twisted plank. Consciously sweep the left knee beneath you toward the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, press into the hands as you reach through the left toes. With the exhale, step forward. 
Inhale and the arms reach up, fingers interlace. Exhale and you choose if you need to sink down a little or stay high. When inhale, maybe an arch, a press into the back toes. And an exhale to open up into warrior two. Big breath in. Slow breath out. And an inhale to straighten up, reach up. With the exhale, sink back in. Maybe the left heel lifts up. Inhale for your reverse warrior. With the exhale, big cartwheel of the hands down to surround the left foot. And with the inhale, lift the right foot. With the exhale, you're slowly, slowly lowering the right knee down behind the left ankle and coming to sit. Keep moving, walk the hands back behind you. Roll onto the back. So the left ankle is crossed over the right knee now. With an inhalation, the left hand reaches through the space between the legs to grip the right hand behind the quad or in front of the shin. Lay the head down on the mat if it's risen. As you exhale, squeeze the knees in just to find what you need. With an inhale, you might take a gentle sway right to left. Stick to the right if you need more of an opening in that left hip. Exhale. With your very next inhale, you're going to release with the hands. Extend them up alongside the ears. As you exhale, let the knees drop over to the right. So you can wind the legs further up like eagle or you can let the left soul find the earth. Sometimes that leverage is nice. The arms can stay lifted and long, or you can bring the left hand to your lower back, right hand to that left inner thigh if the knee is pointing up. Using both hands to press the lower body away to find some release in the lower back. For one more breath in and out. With the very next inhale, slowly roll on to the back. Extend both legs up to the sky, press through the heels. If the hands are just hovering somewhere, you can press them into the thighs. As you exhale, bend left knee, cross the right ankle over it. And with your inhale, send the right hand through the space between the knees to grip the left on the other side. The exhale is the beginning of your exploration, squeezing the knees in. So it might be just enough to ground the lower back into the earth for a massage. You might gently tip to the left if you need more in that right hip. You could turn it into a rock and roll. Or you could just bring all the awareness back to your affirmation, back to your breath. Breathe in. Slow release of the hands. Arms can extend overhead, straight or bent. And with the exhale, the knees tip to the left. Again, you choose how to wind up or unwind. I like to bring the right hand to the sacrum, left hand to the left, the right inner thigh. Hmm. 
in for one full round of breath. See how much you can let go. How much you can drop into that sensation of gravity that allows the earth to press back into you. With your next inhale, slowly roll onto the back. Unwind the legs, catch the feet in happy baby pose. This could be the baby toe blade of the feet, usually people with shorter arms, or the big toe blade for the longer arms. Just one round of breath, a roll side to side or a straightening of the legs. And with your next exhale, let the hands slide down the outside to the calves, to the knees. Gently set the feet on the earth toward the edges of the mat. With the inhale, either let the knees knock together for your final rest. Nice release usually for the SI joints in the lower back. Or you can slide the heels out toward the front edge of the mat for a traditional shavasana. With your next inhalation, extend the arms out to the sides. Spread the palms wide open, fingers apart. As you exhale, Bring the left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. The elbows just rest on the floor. Stay for an inhalation. Feeling the affirmation expand through the whole body into the palms. You can stay here or with the exhale, you can take the arms out alongside of you. Palms facing up. Affirmation shining out into the space all around. Take any final wiggles or motion you need to find your new point of comfort, your new place of content as you are now, in your practice as it is now. And then, follow the next inhale into the head, where each brain cell is pumped full of affirmation. I am what? Through a wide open mouth, side the exhale away. Feel the throat open, the neck loosen, the shoulders soften. And an inhale effortlessly flows through the brain straight to the heart, where those neurons are filled with your affirmation. I am. Through the lips, blow the exhale away. And the inhale cruises through the brain past the heart into the gut. The first point of response, the intuition, the brain of the body, your affirmation plants there. With the lips gently closed, the exhale rolls out through the nose, sending that affirmation through your roots, the thighs, the calves, the feet, fully anchored, fully embodying that way you wished to be. Thank mm -hmm. you.
fight some motion back in and out to the fingers and toes, perhaps the ankles and the wrists. And then you choose to gracefully roll onto your right side or to first spiral way open into a great big long stretch. And if you have with the exhale, it might feel nice to hug the knees in. One last inhale if you're still in motion. Sway side to side with the exhale all the way onto the right side. Deep breath in. With your exhale, the left hand grounds into the earth in front of the heart. With an inhale, the earth seems to press back, lifting you up into the seated position where you began, if that's comfortable for you now. With an exhale, roll your shoulders back, flip your palms up. With an inhale, reach up. Palms unite overhead. With the exhale, draw the hands down to the eyes. Breathe in your affirmation. And breathe it out again, trusting that it's been heard. Loka, samasta, suki no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Namaste.